Welcome back to another episode of the Fog Dog Exclusive. Hopefully in for another good video today. I'm actually doing my first hill workout in a very, very long time. I know hill workouts are pretty popular and they're meant to be really good for you, but recently I just haven't been doing them. got my girlfriend Brooke she's gonna be doing a little hill session as well I'm gonna film some of her I'm gonna ride the bike next to her and then after she's done her session I'm gonna do my session so the plan is we're gonna leave here it's currently about 20 past 5 in the morning uh, so as per usual still dark outside uh, we'll get going I'll be riding the bike next to Brooke we're gonna go down to some of the local hills uh, just probably a couple of kilometers, maybe about a mile and a half from my house and Yeah, do probably a little threshold and then some hills So I'll explain it a bit more in a bit, but yeah stay tuned and we'll see you out on the hills How you feeling Brooke? Feeling great and ready to go Ready? <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro, take two. How are you feeling this time? Feeling good. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the plan was to leave at half past five. We are only 14 minutes late. Could be a lot worse. Sun's still not up. Let's get out and get this done. Right, let's go. <laughs> let's go. All right, Brooke, take three. Now that you've warmed up, how are you feeling? Yeah, feeling pretty good. Feeling good stuff, good, good stuff. Uh, What's the plan then? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna do a two mile threshold and then probably hit the hills, maybe six to eight. See how I'm feeling. Cool, two mile thresh, six to eight by this hill. This is the hill we're at. Kind of doesn't look too bad on camera. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that is definitely a hill, so. Shout out to uh, Jay Colosseus, the coach at Drake, uh, popping hills on the program. So uh, yeah, first time in a long time that I'm going to be hitting that bad boy today, but going to get stronger for it. Isn't that right, Brooke? That is 100% correct. Way. We have some pretty wild Australian birds. Uh, these are called cockatoos, waking up the neighbours bright and early in the morning. All right, here we have it, Brooks' workout for the day. So, two miles thresh, five minutes recovery, and then eight by one minute hills with a 130 walkie jog back down. Popping on the peg turbos, it's gotta be a good day when the turbos come out, taking off the, uh, the hockers, so things are looking on the up. Also, the sun is actually starting to come up. We got a nice little sunrise over there, so yeah. All right, two mile threshold done. How you feeling, Brooke? Not bad. 
Yeah. <laughs> Probably like, what, just under 12 minutes, maybe 11.50, but potentially some, uh, dodgy GPS so probably about 555 per mile but probably actually a bit quicker because uh, the watch for the first like few hundred was pretty far out but anyway about another what minute minute and a half recovery and then uh, Brooke's gonna be flying up this hill oh yeah Doing well. Final rest. How was it, Brooke? Sesh all done? It was good. Probably one of the hardest sessions I've done in a while. Yeah? Yeah. You got through it, a little bit worried at the start, but got all, yeah, all eight I of those hills done. breakfast. I ate a lot. <laughs> got a bit sick. You <laughs> survived. Especially jogging down. But really? I survived. Lovely. Now, we're gonna hide all of our stuff, and I'm gonna jog with Brooke. So, we're gonna hide the bag, hide the bike, hide the camera, hide Brooke's shoes, <laughs> And fingers crossed it will all still be there when we get back, but if it isn't, there probably won't be a video. So if you're watching this, it means that we got our stuff back, so wish us luck. Well, if you're watching, you won't need to, but yeah, anyway, see you in a bit, Hill. Alright, so uh, we went back to get our stuff, and as it turns out, everything got stolen, so uh, Brooke's now filming on the phone. Found the bike dumped out here. Oh, it looks ruined. Only joking. <laughs> uh, the camera was still there, so Brooke did 2k warm down. Uh, I'm gonna do like a two mile warm up and then uh, I'll explain my session straight after I finish my warm up. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> Alright, I've done my warm up, uh, just a little easy two miler. I'm not gonna lie, I never really get sore from running, but right now I am so unbelievably sore. I probably shouldn't be, but I uh, I did gym on Tuesday, today's Friday, and I have never been this sore in my life. I got pretty bad with like doing gym consistently, but in saying that, I did kind of taper for my race in Sydney that you probably would have seen like couple of weeks ago on the channel and then the week following Sydney I had a pretty kind of easy week uh, with no gym so then getting back into it on Tuesday has really kind of damaged my legs but it's gonna make me stronger so uh, 
I'll I'll be fine. I'm just pretty sore today. But right, I'm gonna change my shoes and then get straight into it. So as per usual for today, I'm wearing the trusty old Adidas Boston's and they're in a bag, a little plastic bag because they're quite dirty this morning because uh, I don't know what I was doing in them last time but I must have been on some mud so didn't want to get the bag dirty but anyway time to pop these bad boys on. I'll leave my shoes with yours. Yeah. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Jokes, I actually feel really bad. Uh, sorry in advance if I run really, really slowly. I actually mean that, I'm feeling pretty rough. Like, I don't know, it, it could end up all right, but for one, I haven't done hills for ages. Uh, I don't wanna sound like I'm making excuses. But I'm, well, I mean, I am, but haven't done hills for ages and my body is a tired little chicken right now from mostly from gym gym three days ago uh, has definitely made me a bit sore but I'll be all right I'm gonna get through it all right bog dog what's the sesh oh great question Brooke so uh, I'm gonna be doing a pretty similar session to what you just saw Brooke do uh, so I'm going to start with a two mile threshold, then I'm going to have a three minute walk, maybe jog recovery, probably walk, uh, and then I'm going to do four, uh, five by one minute up this hill. So five by a minute with a minute 30 walk, jog back down the hill. So five by a minute, one thirty jog back down, followed by five by 30 seconds up the hill with a one minute jog back down. So a bit more recovery on them. Uh, yeah, five by a minute, five by 30 seconds up the hill and then I'll be finished. So should be all right. Uh, as I've said, could be a rough day, but I'm gonna give it my best shot and hopefully we'll uh, get through it and be okay. Two mile threshold, here we go. Bulk of the workout done. Two miles done. About 10:10. 10, 
Uh, so like 505 per mile on average, probably like 310 per K, around about. Pretty solid, felt all right. Actually got a bit tough like towards the end, but uh, no, my body actually went a bit better than I thought it would. All right, we're into the final minute of a three minute recovery. Just having a little jog, trying to shake out the legs. Uh, and then, yeah, straight into five by one minute up the hill with a minute 30 recovery. And then straight after that, well, a three minute recovery. And then straight into five by 30 with a one minute recovery on the way back down. All right, I got 30 seconds. First hill wrap. The chain fell off, but it's fine. It will go back on easy. It's all right, we'll fix it. <laughs> One rep down. treating myself to a little walk back down the hill. I got a three minute recovery now before I start these uh, five shorter reps. So uh, making the most of it. k at 350 per k which is probably about five and a half miles at like 610 per mile probably so pretty solid that includes all the walking and jogging as well so not a bad day all right let's go get warmed down in this guy on a tractor 
mowing lawns. Typical. <laughs> Chickens! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the session all done. Started off with a little bike ride uh, filming Brooke. Brooke had a great session. I'll uh, pop a screenshot of her splits up here from her Strava. Uh, give Brooke Mullins a follow on Strava if you get the chance. A future bulldog. She's actually going to America next week. So uh, stay tuned, big things coming. Uh, my session ended up going 10.09.9. .9, so just under 10.10 10 for the two mile threshold. Uh, and then around about three minutes per K for the one minute hills, which is about 450 pace in mileage. So 450 per mile for the one minute hills. And then just a bit quicker, maybe like 430 per mile, uh, 250 per K for the short hills. So overall, pretty good session. Uh, pretty happy with that. As I mentioned at the start, I didn't really know how it was going to go. Uh, I was very sore, I still am quite sore, doing gym again this afternoon, so that could be quite interesting. I'll probably wake up tomorrow with very sore legs, a sore bum, uh, but you know, squats will make me stronger, so I'll keep doing it, and uh, hopefully after a while of doing gym again, I won't be quite so sore. But yeah, as I said, pretty happy with that, and yeah, we will see you in the next video. Next week on the Fog Dog Exclusive. Welcome back to another episode of the Fog Dog Exclusive. Another good video today. I'm going to be doing a track session, so it should be good. I'll explain that a bit more in a bit. Feeling okay, Ed? Yeah, not bad. Uh, going to do about a two mile warm up and then we'll be straight into it. As Brooke heads to America, Fog Dog is back at the track for a huge lactic workout. That looked faster, to be honest. See all of this and more next Thursday, August 27th, 7 p.m. Central Time. Only on the Fog Dog Exclusive.